Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And one of the things that we will look at today is, of course, the rollout of Windows 11. How is it actually going? And I've got some viewer questions on this. So, of course, I mentioned last week that Microsoft did announce that the rollout is going to go a little faster. And that is because of the feedback and what they see in the telemetry seems that the Windows 11 rollout is actually going very well. Now, one of the things about the um, Windows 11 operating system is that, once again, there are two classes of people, if you want. There's the people that have the hardware requirements that get it through Windows Update um, if you're on Windows 10. And there's, of course, the people that are uh, unsupported hardware that can still install it, but you have to work harder to get it. You won't get it through Windows Update. You'll have to install it manually, um, and that's a different thing. Uh, that is actually, uh, a lot of people have seem to have done that. Uh, once again, I get a lot of questions about, uh, so is Windows 11 ready? Is it stable? And my answer to this will first and probably be, look, it's, it's working. And I have no problem with it. There's some awkwardness in some of the menus and some of the things sometimes. But apart from that, it seems to be very stable here. And the telemetry from Microsoft seems to show that it's relatively stable on pretty much everybody's machines. Um, people that say they upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11, they have problems. Um, first of all, are you in a category of supported or unsupported? That's one thing to check out. The other thing is... Um, moving on to a new operating system, it's often better to, you know, clean install rather than upgrade. But once again, for the most part, people that upgrade seem to go well. So check out your drivers. Make sure that uh, there's no software or drivers that might be uh, causing problems within your operating system. As for the updates, uh, still getting a lot of people saying, well, I might want to upgrade my unsupported machine. Um, will I get updates? Look, until now, Microsoft has sent all the updates that have been available. They have been available on the um, unsupported hardware. So what uh, that means is that technically everybody uh, that has unsupported hardware is having the different updates right now. So that seems to be um, working for everyone. Uh, of course, you know, uh, I get a lot of people telling me, well, you know, do you think that that could mean or there could be um, a, um, you know, a stop to this at some point? Uh, like, you know, we don't know. It's, it's, it's totally possible that, yes, we will have a, um, a stop at, you know, some of the feature or updates. But technically, my th Thought, my thought on this is that I don't think we will see really uh, Microsoft stop security updates because that would put too much danger on the security of Windows itself, including for people that are on supported hardware. Um, but there might be a date or time that, you know, at some point they're going to say, okay, well, here we are. Um, now is the time where unsupported hardware is not going to be um, having updates anymore. It can, of course, happen, but I don't see this happening for now. I think um, one of the things Microsoft is doing is by having you on Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, they're hoping that you might actually, you know, go out and then buy some new PC and finally be on a supported, um, you know, machine. For the rollout, it's still going well. Um, we'll see how much uh, machines, how many machines are there. We don't have numbers yet uh, this month. I don't know if we'll have them. Uh, we usually have a monthly report um, that tells us, you know, well, here are the uh, market share for Windows. But Windows 7, uh, 11 right now does not seem to have had the numbers for this month. We know that last month uh, it already was on uh, at least five percent I don't remember the exact percentage but uh, it was uh, there was a fair share of machines out there 
So this is uh, the rollout continuing, of course. And um, like I said, you know, don't don't worry if you don't see it, or if you even if you're supported and you don't see it on Windows updates. Nothing's wrong, and just wait for it. Um, I would recommend really, really strongly for most people just to wait for this to appear at some point on the machine that they have, and not force it. Even though some of you might have forced it, you know, tech enthusiasts sometimes like to have the latest, greatest stuff. They want to see the new stuff. They want to see new operating systems. And that's fine. Uh, but if you do force it, uh, make sure that you understand how to, you know, go back or how to reinstall Windows if something is happening. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.